Bravo to ZMF for at least providing two closed back headphones, pretty similar in price. These are the Atticus and those are the Icon. Um, these are a little bit cheaper, they're a little more expensive. And I understand the desire for both. Good. I was worried that it was going to be the same headphone, the same thing, slight, but okay. So now, if you read the, if you freaked out when I did the uh, Aeolus here, and you read the page on it, it's like, here's the answer. People wanted an open back version of the Atticus. And I'm like, so that's this with an open back? And then I get a saw and I start cutting this open. But, um, so this is day four of the five days of, five days of ZMF. It's like 12 days of Christmas, only better because it's shorter and no one wants to stretch out Christmas anymore. Oh, I'm using, finally, the cables. I should probably talk about them. Now, I'm not a huge fan of cables and like, I'm not a fan of believing in cables like, oh, this one has 80% silver and the other one has 83% silver, but the copper base and it's the twisted wires, right? All of these come with stock wires. These are not the stock cables. You're not going to get these. I forgot how much these even cost, but with the added wood, they're expensive. And I got them plugged in to the THX AAA and the RME is using this DAC and that wallpaper is in the description. And um, this pair was sent to me special by uh, Zach because he's got the different pads on there. He's got, um, I think, oh my God, they're so smooth. These are the micro suede's and they are so nice to the touch. In fact, um, when I got the icons, I ended up shuffling pads and I ended up putting the micro suede's on them before I got this pair. So I was just like, oh, see the world does understand how this works. So. Close back. Now, tomorrow I'll talk about that pair. Today I'm talking about this pair. <sighs> See, I want to say, hey, 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 you know my Elvis? You know my favorite headphone of the fucking year, 2018? This is a close back version of that. And it's not quite the same impact. But I do understand why they're related. Because these, when you throw them on, you scratch the back of your head and you go, ooh. There isn't a ringing amount of bass, which by the way, I'm on the highest gain setting for these. Just, they are almost brutally detailed, almost. But they're not very wide. And that's as close as they get. You can still hear the leak. You hear these giant vents are not here for show. They're here to keep, to manage what's happening in the driver. And when we get to the icons tomorrow, the icons, spoiler alert, slightly wider. Well, significantly wider. So if you're looking at Atticus, you're someone, it's almost like a monitoring headphone. That's the way I'm going to have to go about this review. You're writing this down, Zios? Wait, you're filming it. So. Atticus is to the ZMF lineup what strike me dead for saying this, like M50Xs are. That's a terrible thing. Don't listen to me, I'm bad. Let me think, uh, Shore 840s or um, DT1990s, but closed. Like a good closed back studio monitor. I'm still enjoying music on it, but it's not exorbitantly wide. It's not exorbitantly bassy, it's very flat. In my ears, it's flat. It's got some, see, it doesn't have a lot of soundstage, but it's got, it's like taking Aeolus and trapping it. And now all that detail where some of it leaked out the back, now it's all here. See, you literally get to examine your music. This is a very precision set. I feel like if I had to replace my Ether C flows for its job, the job my Ether C flows do is I trust them to when I monitor uh, headphone recordings and I'm doing, you know, I want, what does this song sound like without too much coloring going on? This would be the pair that did that. I gotta keep taking them off. 
Now, the unfortunate fact is that these are some of the older headphones that ZMF had made. And um, that basically means they weigh 18,000 grams. They're just, I'm, I'm amazingly strong for able to hold them up with one arm. I think these are actually heavier, and that's from the wood design itself. Because you can almost not tell them apart. If the wood was the same color, yeah, I wouldn't be able to. I have to stick the thing on there for sure. Uh, I'm okay. Like, where are they? There. Otors are heavy. Big, hold, heavy wood. And that's the sound signature. And I'm, I'm going to tell you tomorrow that the icons, I'm okay with how big and heavy they are because of how they sound. If these were lighter... If these were lighter, I could see these absolutely getting used in studios to, for people listening. I just love doing that, by the way. Just, it's, you can't, the joy of the softness, it's like a million little fabric ball bearings. Just, oh, the other way is bad, though. This way is good. All right, let's, let's start pulling out some details. Next track, Soul Asylum. Things are happening a little bit behind where I am. There's a good, there's a good echo factor though. There's a good, you know, sound happens, you get a decay of it in a room, a very small room, like rec recording studio sized room, which makes perfect sense. But you're, you're getting it. A lot of very, very flat headphones or headphones that I would say are, I want to use the word intimate, but I use that word 97 times. But I feel close to the music, close, like that. But close back, no interference. My computer's currently crunching away at video files, so I could hear the fans going, and I'm hearing myself talk. But I'm definitely not like they're not open back for sure. But I still like hunting earmuffs are closed. These are still not hunting earmuffs. Whoa. I feel like music analysis, this is the pair of headphones you want. Possibly from the entire ZMF lineup. Oh, I'm starting to get that Aeolus feels. Oh no, this is bad news. My wallet can't take it. Okay. There's just, again, the intensity of sound. Those had intensity of sound. These have intensity of sound. Those are more relaxed. These are more relaxed. And I, I should have combined the two clothes into one video, but I didn't because I promised people five days of ZMF and I made five thumbnails and I want to give you five wallpapers because I'm a good person and it's Christmas time almost. If you get these wired up to the right amp, and I'm not saying the THX AAA 789 is the right amp, but it's damn fucking close to perfect. Again, the Beatles. Why do I keep getting Beatles songs? I don't like the Beatles, but they come on, and if I'm enjoying the headphone, I just want to listen to it. It's 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 a decay. It's an echo. It's an over. It's a fucking see, see the hand. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. All right, these reviews are now on automatic, and this hand is trying to describe a sort of permanence to a sound that I enjoy wholeheartedly. We'll discuss if I'd rather have these or those tomorrow, but for right now, I ain't kicking you out of bed, baby. Mmm, I love looking at your holes. What? Stop it, you perverts. Pink Floyd, okay. Mother, from the wall. Skip ahead. A nice, lumpy base. I know that sounds like a terrible description because potatoes are lumpy and soup can be lumpy and discharges can be lumpy, but um, they're not 909s. Let's put it this way. I, I, I sort of poo-poo the 909s that sit back there, which are the open back version, open back version of the 900s. And if you said which ones have the best base, I'd point to the 900s that are somewhere else. They don't exist here. I like the low end that they throw out. 
I like it. It's nice. It's, it's it's the slightest bit boomy, but I think that's just... It, it, oh, God, this is going to sound pretentious. The analog nature of it all? Please burn me. I'm a witch. It's the analog nature of it all. Judge Dredd. You can't ask for a more bass-heavy soundtrack than Judge Dredd. Okay, here we go. We're about to go for a fucking ride. All right, thumping bass. Just boom, 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 boom. Skip forward. Out of the thumps. Here's the thing. It can handle this bass. I'm not... This is why... You get it. You get explained. Here's bass. This is what the bass is like, and you get it. But it's not distorting. It's never to the level of, like... I almost feel like the 909s and the 900s could get so much bass that they would distort and they magically don't. These are never getting quite to that level. We are pretty solid in the... I mean, I'm grabbing the headphones to take them off and they're... They vibrate. Pretty aggressively. That's how well they close out sound though. They do close it out for how loud they're playing. <sighs> so... That's like one of those sighs. It's like you could tell when Zios is gonna say some shit. They're still eleven hundred dollars. All right, nothing from Z. That's the cheapest set. It's a thousand. So he made them a hundred dollars cheaper, and they're Aeolus, and that's like blunderbuss to the soul. Oh my god! Just keep doing this, please. I need pants made out of this. I think. Who's buying this? You want a headphone that you could actually enjoy listening to and sort of mix. And I know I'm going to get fucking hate comments about this because Zeus, those aren't measuring perfectly flat. But, but when I listen to music, and I have to do it a lot, I have to do the same tracks on a lot of headphones. A fucking lot of headphones. How many headphones, Zeus? How many? I will know if a track sounds overly bassy, overly sharp. Too much soundstage should be counted as, as critical listening sort of things. And these just scream out to me, hey, assess the music on me. Look at me, put me on, and assess music. Don't just sit there and take what I'm giving you and be like, oh, that's the way these sound. That imaging, holy shit. That's that's the one key thing that I think they brought over. Well, Aeolus is a new one. This is the old boy. But this is the one key thing that Aeolus got from the Atticus roots. Is that imaging is just pinpoint across this, the expanse. Just as, It's not a very wide expanse. But when it starts here, you hear a million points of accuracy. And then it fades away. I've seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas a million times. A million times. I know exactly what Benicio Del Toro sounds like. And when I hear Benicio Del Toro introduce his Fear and Loathing uh, track, I... That's it. Like, I've never heard Benicio Del Toro more Benicio Del Toro. How's that for a headphone review on the internet with anime wallpapers? He says Benicio Del Toro is really, really Benicio Del Toro in it. Like, there's no... Nothing gets fucked with. Like, these, they're a little more money. But you get a little bit more happening. You get more sounds. That, we're, we're getting to those. We're getting those tomorrow. I'll keep this review short. Because... I kind of want to monitor in these, and I don't know if anyone would let me. They're... If you run a studio, if you're making music, buy these. I'm adding them to my list of like, oh, well, let's see. You have the choice of Shure 840s, uh, HD 600, DT 1990s, and now Atticus. Those are the four headphones I trust to put a song through it and be able to pick it apart. Bad songs sound bad. Good songs sound good. There's not too much sound stage. You don't lose anything. It's not crowded with low end. And, and, and most importantly, most importantly, with any of those previous three picks, 
I have to enjoy listening to them. The Shure 1540s are probably one of the nicest, lightest built headphone ever with the best pads. I hate them. They're so boring, I can't listen to them. And even if they measure perfectly accurate, I can't listen to them. I trust these headphones to do a good enough job, good enough job, of presenting you with, with the real source, and I still enjoy them. That's the bottom line. Van Halen, human being. The mask rose. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to stare at the wallpaper and pretend I'm actually looking for a song. Y yes. So it's a not modern song. This is week. This is the weekend. Kiss Land, Professional, the track Professional. Modern stuff. Now it's well recorded. At least down there, you can see it is. But modern stuff you usually get a lot of problems. You listen to it on a really high-end headphone and it sort of like squeezes all together and you hate it. Whereas this, I hear everything that's going right and I hear everything that's going wrong. And I could just delineate the good parts and the bad parts. Oof. These have made me oof. Chromatics Surrogate, please look it up. All right, from Plaster Hounds, Chromatics, Surrogate. Sounds way older than it is. It's the worst vocals ever. It's like someone singing into a toilet and the microphone's in the closet, but all the other parts around it are really good. And I could tell right now with this head pair of headphones. Yeah, you need to fucking fix this track. There's like a shaker, but the shaker's in the toilet with the guy. It doesn't fix, these are a pair of headphones that don't fix your music. Some of the headphones absolutely fix your music. They make things that are bad sound good. And some things make things that are good sound better and bad stuff still sounds acceptable. These, and I just, Weird Al, all about the Pentiums, because I'm a classy sort of guy. Sounds great, because Weird Al knows how to record fucking music. Princess Pasta doesn't like Weird Al. Give her shit in the comments. Um, that's who's getting these, all right? I, I'm stopping this review. Before I go any further, I'm trying to, I'm trying to sell you these. They're $1,100. I have to do a really, really good job of explaining who and why, why you get these. Yes, they're narrow. Yes, the low end is not quite elo it's it's enough of a low end i expect this low end but they're clean and they're neat and they're organized and they're definitely more of an analytical set and i'm not a huge fan of analytical stuff but i need them in my daily life sound demos i need an analytical headphone that's why the ether c flows are there my next sound demo while this is here maybe i give it a little bit of a run my only problem is it is heavy it is old school zmf Massive heavy. Ugh. Now if he lightens these up, he gets the new lightweight ones out and he doesn't change the price. He'll sell a shit ton. Okay. That is Atticus. I do loves me some Atticus, especially if I'm picking apart songs. Wallpaper is in the description. The link to these is in the description. My Patreon is in the upper right in the description. And that helps pay for this and ensure things and send things out pays the rent, feeds the cat, etc. Um, I'll mention hifiguides.com again, even though probably nothing's changed in the last four days. That's in the description. Tomorrow will be the final day for the ZMF uh, Five Days of Christmas Roundup, and I will sort of go back and just give my brief opinion. It's probably going to be a slightly longer video because of that. I also will address some of the, uh, the cables, and bo I'll actually go through all the boxes too because... They all come in beautiful cases, and I didn't bring up any of them during these videos because then they would just make them six minutes longer. So, tomorrow, you get Icon, tomorrow, you get cases, wrap up, and wallpaper, and then we can move on with our daily lives, and I'll probably put out something interesting after that. Not like these aren't interesting, 
But I mean, how many days in headphones? I just want to shoot myself. All right, moving on. Sound demo, link in the description, by the way. Check it out.